Warren Buffett once said, In the business world, the rear view mirror is always clearer than the windshield. He also says we simply attempt to be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy only when others are fearful. And I think this is very applicable to what we are about to experience. There's a chance that markets sell off big within the next couple of weeks. And the markets simply don't understand our favorite stock, which is Tesla. And they are dead wrong. And there is only a couple things you really need to know that sets this in stone. And we will share it with you here in this video. Now, I think this information is so critical to understand because think about this quite logically. You don't get very many instances where the markets just don't understand or appreciate a company. Look at something like NVIDIA for context here. NVIDIA did well. They raised their guidance last earnings a lot more than expectations. But the markets fully baked that in, plus some. Like, there is nothing else that the markets are not forecasting that's going to happen with NVIDIA. Estimates are probably way too high for the next coming years. There's some people starting to turn a little bit bearish on NVIDIA. But with Tesla, it's like you can have the best news come out. Tesla can rock it on earnings and analysts lower their estimates. This is your gain, my friends. Come on. This is your gain. And I think that's very important to fully understand. Tesla's stock is down about 39% from its all-time highs when things have only gotten better and better. And we'll only get better and better from here, minus any recession that we may or may not go into. I'm fully convinced, 100% convinced, the analysts that cover Tesla are smoking funny stuff. Because what if I told you that analysts were expecting the slowest growth for Tesla's EPS as well as volume growth in Tesla's entire business history? It's never been this low as what analysts forecast for 2024. And that is 27% volume growth and 29% EPS growth. The only time you were even close to this is when Tesla grew deliveries by 30% from 2013 to 2014. This is the only time you were even close to 27%. But wait a minute, what happened the last time Tesla delivered a new model, which was, as I've said many times, the Model Y on March 13th of 2020. Well, in 2020, you delivered 499,550 vehicles. In 2021, you delivered 936,000 vehicles. The business has grown 85% in this year? Huh. And EPS grew a lot more than that. Let me tell you, the EPS was in the hundreds of percent range as Tesla really got to a place of profitability during this time. And what do we have launching in just a couple of months? The Cybertruck. Where, for 2023, you're not expecting big volumes for the Cybertruck, but in 2024, you're expecting... A pretty gradual ramp up to getting to a place of around 250,000 deliveries in 2024. But it's more than just the Cybertruck deliveries. That's the big story for Tesla in 2024. It's also the brand recognition. It's the advertisement from the Cybertruck. There, from my recognition, there's never been a vehicle like Tesla out there. Or the Cybertruck more specifically. This is going to turn all of your heads the same way if you see a Bugatti flying down the highway does. Same thing. But with Tesla, you can actually afford the Cybertruck. Maybe you can't afford the million-dollar Bugatti that's flying down the highway next to you. But at least you know about it, right? So this effect, I expect, will increase the Model 3 deliveries, the Model Y deliveries, even the Model S and X. 
just because people are going to see a cyber truck and wonder what the hell it is they're going to figure out it's tesla they're going to go to the tesla website and they're going to say hey maybe i want to buy a cyber truck well there's a four or five year wait on that maybe i'll just buy a model three or a model y oh i get a 7500 dollars instant tax credit that is at the dealership or tesla's website yeah like quite literally right now if you purchase an electric vehicle if you pay taxes well it's going to reduce your tax bill by seventy five hundred dollars that year or the following year but if you pay taxes or if, if you get a tax return i should say for uh you know moms out there or, or dads out there that just don't make as much and get a tax return well it doesn't benefit you currently to buy an EV. So right now you're seeing a lot of people that are buying EVs, if they're buying them for tax purposes, being people that have to pay taxes. Well, in 2024, it's going to benefit everyone to get an EV. Not to mention on a state level in 2024, there's a lot of state tax credits that also kick in starting on january 1st of 2024 this also according to analysts is not going to be positive to tesla at all so right now analysts are expecting tesla's full year 2024 eps to be four dollars 81 cents now i don't even really care about the rest of 2023 that's obviously going to be important and the day tesla delivers the first cyber truck and announces that you want to be an investor in tesla it's going to be a very good day the stock's going to rally and you know if we go down in the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks that you're going to look back three to six months from now probably about three months and say hey i uh, should have bought every single share that i could of tesla but Again, analysts are expecting $4.81 for 2024 EPS. Now, there's a range on this. There always is a range on this. Now, the higher end range is a lot higher than the lower end range. On the low end range, the lowest analysts are expecting around $3.50 of EPS for next year. So that would be uh, a, a roughly what analysts are expecting for this year for 2023, which is $3.40 per share. That's obviously not going to happen. That's a bunch of BS, right? Um, but on the high end, some analysts expect $8 of EPS for 2024. It's probably somewhere in the middle. It's probably around $6 to $6.50 for EPS for next year. Probably $6.50. So what this means is estimates likely go higher from now heading into 2024 this means your valuation for tesla also gets cheaper now let's throw this into a calculator briefly and take a look at what, what some of these pe ratios are so currently if we look at tesla stock at 254 dollars per share divide this by the current estimate and current analyst estimates for 2023 that's an e that's a, a pe of about 74 almost 75 now if tesla comes in with maybe it's four dollars of earnings for this year because estimates are wrong that's a current p e ratio of 63.5 now if we look at the p e ratio for 2024 the current uh expected p e ratio if tesla does give us four dollars 81 cents of eps that's going to be a P ratio of 52 for next year. Well, if Tesla comes in where I think they'll come in, which really in between $6 and $6.50 is where I expect, let's call it $6.25, okay? Well, then you're at a PE of 40 and a half if you're buying Tesla stock today. Well, wait, if Tesla does grow EPS, this would be by, um, you know, like 90%. If my EPS estimate comes true in between $6 and $6.50 per share um, for EPS in 2024, that means Tesla is going to grow their EPS by about 90%. So that means if you divided the actual PE ratio that this would be, and you divide that by 90, well, you would actually see a peg ratio of about half of one <laughs> okay 
that is stupidly cheap. Now, even if you want to be more conservative and say Tesla only does $5 of EPS or $5.50 of EPS, if you factor in that growth rate, your peg ratio is ridiculously low. Currently, at the time of recording this video, Apple's peg ratio is 2.85. That would mean that Tesla, if our numbers are correct, our estimates are correct, Tesla's peg ratio next year is going to be about five times, almost six times cheaper than Apple currently. Now, let's put this into a little bit different perspective. Well, if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft peg ratio is 2.53. So again, right at about five times uh, Tesla's peg ratio. Well, look at price to sales. Tesla's price to sales is about eight times. Tesla's expected to do over $100 billion of revenue in 2023. Tesla's market cap is around $800 billion. Look at Microsoft. Microsoft has a price to sales ratio of 12.44, which is more expensive than Tesla today. That's not to mention what we expect for 2024, which could be even worse if analysts continue to value Tesla negatively, which I think they will be forced to come to the realization and that Tesla is actually cheap at today's valuation. But really what I want to highlight to you guys is you can do these calculations in different ways. You're going to come to the same conclusion that Tesla is cheaper than your other big tech names. Now, the reason Tesla is so discounted today and that you're going to make so much money within the next 12 to 24 months from now could be as soon as three months from now. Whenever the Cybertruck starts to live, deliveries. That's when things get very, very good for Tesla quickly. So that could be three months from now. It could be six months. Who knows? It looks like it could be even sooner than three months from now. So I, I'm just throwing numbers out there. When that happens, you want to be an investor in Tesla. So you have a little bit of time, right? And this should be encouraging to long-term investors. But again, any way you put this, Tesla is cheaper today than your big tech names. Well, the problem is, and why Tesla is down almost 40% from all-time highs, is because investors, they want the EPS today. They don't give a crap. They don't give a rat's booty about what's going to happen next year. And why is that? That's because interest rates are high. And according to the Fed, they're going to be high for a long time. That means growth stocks are not as favorable. But what if I told you the markets were expecting the Fed to cut rates a lot sooner than what the Fed is saying they are going to? According to the Fed rate monitor tool, there is an 87% chance that the Fed holds rates where they are. In November, there's a 72% chance the Fed holds. In December, there's a 66% chance the Fed holds. In January of 2024, there's a 49% chance the Fed continues to hold. And there is a 31.3% chance currently that the Fed actually cuts rates. And then March 20th, 2024, there is a 42% chance that the Fed cuts rates. Now, when the Fed starts cutting rates, they usually cut rates faster. Now, the historical kind of analysis you, you would really put on this, and the it sucks to say, the best way to look at this is the Fed won't cut rates until they need to, until they have to, until the VIX is over 40. Now, at the time of recording this video, the VIX is around 20. So that means the markets have to fall quite a bit from here before the Fed actually cuts rates. That would be more so in that hard landing kind of scenario. Scenario That would be maybe not the recession, but definitely a hard landing in the markets. Over the next couple of weeks, you might see some of that start to play out. That's why you want to come trade with us live in real time every time we make trades. Link down below in the description of this video or check out the last video in which I went over my hedge trade that I have in the markets that could make about $46,000 on a max gain that you could take that money and put it back into Tesla stock. But either way, once you get close to the next rate cut or even when the 
when the Fed does pause and not raise rates, the markets start to look forward to the next Fed rate cut, and then your growth starts to become more important, especially given we don't really expect GDP to continue to expand you know, two, three percent a year, like we're seeing so far in 2023, you're expecting GDP to be around one percent for a couple years down the line and then start to accelerate to two percent by like 2025, 2026, 2027. So, what happens in those kind of environments is growth stocks actually do very well when inflation is high and the interest rates are high, growth stocks don't do well, investors don't want to pay. A premium for earnings down the line. One, because inflation erodes those future earnings, right? If you have 5% inflation a year for the next 10 years, well, if your business expects $100 billion in profits, for an example, if you got 5% a year inflation, 10 years from now, your $100 billion is going to be worth a lot less than it is today. That's the simplest way to kind of look at it. So if inflation continues to be low and you start to really get close to these rate cuts and then ultimately getting these rate cuts, at the same time, the economy is maybe not in a recession, but it's not growing ultra fast. That is the perfect scenario for stocks like Tesla to do very well. And that's exactly what I expect to happen. This is not even to mention, I haven't even said it at all, licensing of full self-driving. That is another huge source of EPS boost that we could see at some point in 2024, 2025. I don't know if an actual you know, licensing deal would be made and then ultimately this service would be sold in 2024. Even what we're seeing with these EV charging deals yeah, they're being announced today, but a lot of them don't even start until 2025, so it's kind of down the line. I don't know if something similar like that would happen with full self-driving, but it's pretty clear that there is a deal coming for full self-driving, and that to be licensed to a major OEM. It's probably Ford, since really you have to have some form of full self-driving. If you look out five or ten years from now, that's going to be a requirement if you or someone buying a new vehicle, you're going to want full self-driving, right? So instead of spending billions of dollars to create your own software, it makes a lot of sense to just partner with Tesla and put that into your product, which again is probably going to be Ford if I were to imagine. That would be a total game changer for Tesla stock. And I would expect the stock to hit new all-time highs, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars in 2024 if that is announced just the profit potential of that is out of this world i could sit here and make calculations but it really doesn't matter because it would be that big we just don't know right so we haven't even talked about that and i think that's a little bit more speculation this is solid definitive proof that tesla stock is undervalued and that it will go higher it's literally a matter of time and hopefully we do fall over the next couple of weeks. That is your chance to load the boat on Tesla. If you did not have a chance to load the boat when Tesla was $100 per share or $150 per share, well, maybe you only get to load the boat at $200 or $220. That is a steal of a deal for Tesla stock. Now, you also have starting to be operational in the second half of 2024 so this is not like a 2025 or beyond kind of thing is mexico giga mexico and that is where you're expecting your 24,000 maybe 25,000 or maybe 30,000 dollar ev that will come out of there and you're expecting that to be your mass market vehicle i mean just just think about this logically it, when Tesla does that, and Tesla actually can produce enough vehicles for the world, Tesla's going to have a production problem. They're not going to have a demand problem. They, they never have. That was never the problem for Tesla. But they're not even going to be able to keep up with the amount of orders. Right now, when you buy a base Model 3, it's the best bang for your buck you get on the auto market today. Well, imagine what a $24,000 Tesla is going to be as far as a bang for your buck. It's going to be a, a, a no-brainer. Absolute no-brainer. No 
what do you think that's going to do for Tesla stock? Again, in 2024, this isn't years down the line. I wish I could sit here and say you have years to buy the dip in Tesla and then you're all going to be mega millionaires. No, the time is kind of of the essence right now. And there's not a lot of it before I think Tesla stock ultimately does break out and hit those all-time highs. And like I said, could be much higher than $400 per share. Tesla's going to have a NVIDIA moment at some point in 2024. It's going to happen. I'm not a financial advisor, not a fortune teller. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I could tell you, estimates are way too low. That's a fact for EPS, for deliveries. Analysts are expecting the worst year for Tesla as far as growth in its entire business history, at least from 2020, from 2013 till, till now. That, that's not going to happen. That's that's crazy stupid, okay? That's to your benefit, again. So you got analysts smoking funny stuff. You got massive growth machines ahead, licensing a full self-driving, the Cybertruck, what that's going to do for Tesla's brand, and not to mention Giga Mexico. You have potential expansion into India coming soon as well. And not to mention that, you're finally going to start to see interest rates actually coming down down in 2024 markets are forward looking so really within the next couple of months here the markets are going to start looking forward to 2024 and that's where estimates are going to start rising and people are going to get more bullish on tesla so that's what i have for you here in this video that's why tesla stock is literally a no-brainer here today Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Again, if you guys want to come trade with us live in real time, linked down below in the description of this video. Most importantly, and I mean this, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.